what's up? You heard me? It's your boy, Fat Ash Abuja. What time? First time, start by saying hello. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, welcome to KGK LA Outdoors. I hope you enjoy our content and everything we got coming and everything we got going for y'all. Which I know there'll be lots of us who enjoy this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? But stay tuned and check us out, bro. We be just, you know, a hunting outdoor channel. We do it all, you know what I'm saying? Some some days you might see fishing, some days you might see hunting, some days you might see dogs, you know, all kind of different stuff with, with, with us, you know? But more of the story, today, you know, this first video, I actually pre-recorded an episode of a fishing trip, but I think, well, I thought, I, I, you know, I told myself, I thought, I was like, it wouldn't be right if I didn't do an intro, a proper intro, letting everybody know what's up. So here we are, this is going on. And uh, you gotta excuse me, it's hot in South Louisiana. It's hot, 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 real humid. But um, yeah, letting y'all know what's up. So this is basically just a video, letting y'all know who I am, what we getting into, what we do, you know what I'm saying? But the first video, this is gonna be us picking some blackberries, you know what I'm saying? See if we can fill a couple of these bags up. Got a cousin who's a chef who makes cobbler and does all kind of stuff like that. See if we can get uh, enough for him to do something. Here's plates this Friday and if y'all are in the area I, I dropped the address you know what I'm saying let y'all know you know but stay tuned give y'all some rough excuse me and just starting out with this just trying this out doing it all for fun it's a passion a hobby I'll go not everything's gonna be able to work like everybody else First Louisiana blackberries. Pretty successful haul, but I'm kind of doing it with Crocs with no socks, so like it's kind of bad. Cause spiders and all kind of crazy stuff could uh you know get in my in my shoes you know what I'm saying and get me but so I'm in here putting some socks on and I'm gonna throw some boots on so we can get more into it you know we're trying to make this haul as successful as possible but I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about myself you know what I'm saying tell you a little bit more about the channel why it was started so basically growing up uh. Down here in South Louisiana, I, I didn't. I, I lived with my grandma from the time I was six months old to when I was eighteen. So I didn't really have. I mean, I had father figures around, but not too many. Not too many who wanted to do the things that I like to do, or wanted to do, or that were into the things that I wanted to learn how to do. And so I would basically hang out with older kids. I'd be like seven years old hanging out with 14 year olds and they would all be my real good friends though, but they were the ones who really taught me a lot about myself, about life and about how to do things and just a lot, you know? And so more of the story, all those things my friends taught me, but well, basically my big brothers is what I can, could, would rather consider them, you know? Basically those things they showed me, I want to pass down to those people, to people these days who don't have fathers and, you know, friends or people around to show them or take them fishing. You know, I'm gonna be that person to show you that anything is possible, to show you that if you wanna go have some fun, ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know, you wanna go catch some fish, ain't nothing to it but to do it, you know? But this is basically just an outdoors page, you know, just to keep the keep the outdoor ways, outdoor lifestyle that's going, you know, almost extinct these days. That's 
getting made. Uh, it, I don't want to use the wrong pro, the, the the wrong terms for it, you know. But you you get what I'm saying. A lot of things are changing these days, and it's hard to you know pass on certain things and do certain things without being criticized by the media or people around you who are just so caught up in media things and, and just think everything is wrong or inhumane. But, well, that's a little bit about myself, you know, so let's get back to these black bears. Got our boots on. Let's get it, folks. Okay, for um, those of you that don't know, black bears are basically this wild grown fruit. And they look like these when they're ripe, the black ones. And they look like these red ones everywhere when they're not ripe. Let me just show you. <laughs> look at all this. I've been I've been watering them a lot. Definitely can't wait. It's gonna produce a lot this year. It's gonna be a lot of blackberry cobbler this year. I can tell you all that. And that's just right here. There's still a whole nother side. I didn't even really fully water this side. I watered the other side. But check them out. Look, check them out. Chef 24-7 Catering, man. Brought to y'all by Chef 24-7 Catering. Thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? Go check them out. Real Louisiana Catering.